Hello, Algebra 2. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, today we're moving on to 1.1.2, uh, which is what basically what that means is one is chapter one, uh, section one, and then day two. So we ended up splitting this section into two different days. Um, okay. All right, so today we're going to look at uh, transformations again. But in this case, we're going to be looking at um, real-world problems that indicate transformations are happening. Um, so we're going to look at a couple words that you might see that would indicate transformation and do a few examples. Um, so first question, what words come to mind to you that might signal a transformation in a real-world problem? Now think about the transformations that we have. We have translations. We have uh, reflections and stretches and compressions. Okay, so you may not exactly use the word translate, but you might use the word um, increases by ten dollars. Right? If you have money, the price of an object if it increases by ten dollars, then you're um, increasing by a certain amount each time. That would be a translation. Um, an increase by a percent, that would be, or like a doubling or something like that, that would be um, a stretch or compression. You might see things like half price or um, an increased rate, things like that. A lot of monetary stuff. Okay, and you'll see more as we go um, when we'll talk about them. But, um, all right, let's look at a few examples. Number one. Renting a U-Haul 10 by 10 foot truck costs $20 per day plus 70 cents per mile driven. Actually, it's 1995, I believe, uh, but I just rounded it up to 20 just so that you, uh, that, you know, calculations were easier. Anyways, it says to sketch the uh, graph that shows the cost of a U-Haul as it's driven from Boulder to Denver and back 50 miles each way in a single day. For each of the following scenarios, um, and then after that one, right, um, each of the following scenarios, sketch the original gap graph, and then um, on the new, and, and then the new scenario on the graph provided. Okay, so problem number one, we don't even have an original graph section. Okay, so um, I think it would be really helpful to see that original graph. So the um, original pricing, the $20 per day plus 70 cents per mile. Okay, so um, just to kind of sketch that, I'm going to do that on the side, but basically, right, what you're thinking, you got to think, one, what's the independent variable, which is the thing that goes on the x-axis, um, and which one is the uh, dependent variable, which goes on the y. Okay, so in this case, we want to look at our two variables. Um, our variables are going to be the miles driven and the cost, right? Those are the two things we want to compare. So the question is, what depends on the other thing? Do miles driven depend on cost, or does cost depend on miles driven? Hopefully you can answer that, um, but it makes more sense to say um, that the money that you spend is based off of the miles driven. So our independent variable is going to be the miles, and the dependent variable is going to be the amount. All right, so in this case, uh, cost is $20 per day. And if we're only looking at a single day, then we should be fine, right? So your initial cost, regardless of how many miles you go, you're always spending $20, right? Excuse my scale right now. Um, so your initial cost is $20. And then every mile after that, it goes up by 70 cents, okay? So then after one mile, you have twenty dollars and seventy cents, and so on. Next would be twenty-one forty, etc. Okay, so what ends up happening is you have this line that has a slope of uh, seventy cents and a y-intercept of twenty. Okay. The next question says, 
If U-Haul decides to increase their daily rate from $20 to $30 a day, what happens to the graph? So you can just look at this graph, right? And basically, if the, the mileage cost doesn't change, right, the graph doesn't change at all except it's shifted up from 20 all the way up to 30, right? So you have the same rate increase but you're starting at a new, um, a new initial amount. Okay, so next question, what if U-Haul has a special 10% off the mileage rate? What happens to the graph? Okay, um, so the question you want to ask here, right, is um, the mileage rate, right, which is the 70 cents, that you're getting 10% off of, right, but your initial cost is not going to change, okay? And so um, that's one really nice, easy indication of how um, how to check if it's a vertical stretch or compression versus horizontal compression or stretch, um, because they often look really similar. But if your vertical axis doesn't change at all, then it has to be horizontal. And similarly, if your x-intercept doesn't change at all, right, then that means that um, you've done a, a vertical change, not a horizontal change. So anyways, in this case, right, we have 10% off the mileage rate, um, but your, your flat rate, the $20 a day, that stays the same. So um, in this case, right, my graph is going to look similar to the last one. Remember my last one, say that's 20, my last one looks something like this, right, with a slope of $70 per day, but now we're reducing the cost by 10%. So instead of 70 cents, um, we get 7 cents off of that. So um, it's what, 63 cents per mile? So you want to think about, okay, 63 cents per mile, your, your slope is going to be decreasing, right? So your line looks a little bit more like that. It's a little flatter. I'm not doing exact right now because it's hard on this thing and also that's kind of time consuming and tedious, but I want you to get the idea of what a transformation does, right? So in this case, if you notice, right, the line gets shortened, right? Um, and so the two things you want to think, is it a vertical compression to compress it down like that or was it a horizontal stretch? Because if you horizontally stretch it, this end is going to get pulled out. Okay, and so the only, the best way you can tell that is the intercept. And in this case, the intercept stayed the same, the y-intercept, which means since that stayed the same, there was no vertical change, no vertical change, horizontal change. Make sense? Yay! Yeah. All right, now this is the other scenario. Right. What if U-Haul wants to increase all of their prices by 20%? So that's including the $20 initiation fee or flat rate or whatever you want to call it. Um, and so what that would mean is that the $20 increases by 20%. 20% of $20 is $4. So your initial rate becomes $24. And your price that used to be 70 cents, we need to multiply by 0 0.2, 0 .0, yeah, 0 0.2, 20% increase. Um, so that's going to be 84 cents. So this actually increases the uh, y-intercept to 24, and it also increases the slope. So you end up with something like this, right? A, a steeper slope and an increased y-intercept. And what that, you can see that since my y-intercept also increased, that it must have been a vertical stretch in this case. All right, last question. What if they decide to change their promotion to 70 cents for every two miles driven? Okay, so you can think about this as 35 cents for every one mile or 70 cents for every two miles. Um, and it's all still going to be the same thing. It's like the same thing as number two. Um, 
So it's going to end up being a horizontal stretch because your again your flat rate doesn't change. So you've got that twenty dollars that's still there, right? So this is our initial problem. But now instead of at one having this amount and at two having this amount, right? Whatever it is, mathematically whatever, twenty seventy and 2140 right now we go two miles I'm gonna do this in a different color so you can see we go two miles and it costs the same price as the 2070 right so we go over and we end up here okay um, and then four there's three four um, after four miles we, it would be the same price as two miles. So that's 2140. So we'd be up here. Okay. So if you take a look, then your graph gets, it appears, right, that it's getting smushed down. But because that y intercept isn't changing, right, that then you can tell that it's not a vertical change, right? It's a horizontal and it's being stretched out. So again, horizontal stretch. And cool thing is I think that's it. So hope you had fun. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.